Hello, sixth grade. Welcome to your little tutorial on how to use a compass. These compasses are way fancier than the compasses I had back in my day. And you can play around with them. There's, you can make all different kinds of circles, but in our project that we're gonna start next week, we're gonna have to make circles that are mathematically accurate with like certain, like a certain radius or a certain diameter. And believe it or not, you can make really accurate circles with these compasses. So the first thing I wanna draw your attention to is there are different measurements on different parts of um, the compass. So if we always wanna be working with inches. So if you look at this side right here um, of the compass, these are your inches. And you'll see that if you look at some of these arrows, like do you see this arrow right here? It says two inch radius, and there's an arrow pointing to that hole right there. Or out here, it says three inch radius, and that arrow is pointing to this hole right here. And then out here, we have four inch radius. And right here, it might be a little hard to see, right here is your one inch radius, and that's pointing to this hole right here. So say I wanted to make a circle, let's just say we wanted a three inch radius right here. What I would do is you're gonna put your very sharp writing tool, like a pen or a very sharp pencil, right into this hole, right, where am I here? Right here. Well, maybe I should move this down a little bit on the paper, I'm gonna run out of space. So I would put it right here. And I would kind of make a mark that shows that that's the center of my circle. Okay, so that's all these little circles. You're going to the very inside right here. Then what you wanna do is sort of put your hand on top of this, this part right here. Find your three inch radius hole, which is right here, and let it rip. You kind of just start to draw and pull it around. I know the video is kind of losing sight, but I'll show you in a second. And if you keep following that around, you're gonna have a circle. You can see I made a whole circle with a three inch radius. And I can even show you that it comes out perfectly because if I take a ruler now and measure from the center of the circle out to the circle itself, can you see how it's exactly, well, no, wait, let me go here. It's exactly three inches, okay? So if I wanna make a smaller circle, let's say I wanna do um, a circle with a one inch radius. So if I wanted to make a circle with a one inch radius, again, I would mark down in the center and then I would hold the compass here in the center tight, find the one inch radius marker, get my pen in that hole and turn it around. Now you may have to lift very carefully, sort of lift your hand up and let me see here, you wanna hold, keep holding it tight, gets a little dicey, and then get that back there, and then kind of finish it off like that. So again, you have your circle, and let me measure it. We want a one inch radius, and sure enough, there it is, look at that, perfect. That's one inch from the center, one inch radius or a two inch diameter. See how that's a two inch diameter right there? Which brings me to the last part of this video. So I borrowed these compasses from the art teacher on our floor, Miss Stom. She was kind enough to let us borrow these. What I noticed though, is that some of the compasses have this measured with a radius and other compasses have it as, so you see here, I'm on the inches, diameter. See how this says four inch diameter? six inch diameter, eight inch diameter? Well, if you're using a diameter compass, but I wanted a one inch radius, think about which diameter it would have. It would be this guy, the two inch. It's kind of faded here, but this right here says two inch diameter, and it would be this hole right here. So just be careful. Some of them say, radius, and some of them say diameter. It doesn't matter which one you use, but you just have to be careful which hole um, you're using here to create the circle. And of course, you can always double check it with your ruler. Okay, so we're gonna try making some of these. You're gonna practice now making some circles that have a one inch radius. Good luck.